I don't know, man, what, what's your take on it from, from, from your experience? Why don't guys jump in there quicker? The stigma is one. The stigma is the one obvious one. I think the other one is a lack of lack of um, lack of understanding, lack of knowledge. The way I the way I sort of think about it myself, in like I know now. I um I I see now a if I was to put it into like a graphical representation, there is a ladder. At the bottom of the ladder is the bottom of a pit. Uh, well, the bottom of the ladder is that you've got to hang off the bottom of the ladder and drop 10 foot into a pit. When you're in the bottom of the pit, it's very hard to reach the ladder, right? And we're all at the top of the ladder. Baseline, healthy baseline is the top of the ladder. Every person is. Military or not, flipping woman or man, or whatever gender you want to call yourself, anything. We're all at, the, at some stage, at some point in the ladder. Most of us are high up the ladder, okay? But the majority of people, they don't know what the, what the steps, the lower steps even look like. They don't know what the lower steps even look like. And the way I, I feel about myself, now I, I, I am now really, I, I'm, I'm just much more aware of when I drop down a rung. I'm just really sensitive to it. Only because I'm, I'm more aware of um, what causes my mental state to drop down a level. It could be anything. I could be tired. I could have had a beer yesterday. I could have had an argument with someone. Or it could be the opposite. I did something positive today. I felt really good. There's a, I won the lottery. Or, you know, my missus told me she loved me. Or my kids told me that they loved me. And I, I'm elevated, right? So now it's a case of I, when I drop down a rung, I'm much more aware of it. And also, I know what's at the bottom of the ladder. I know how hard it is to get back up. So when I drop down, I, I'm just more conscious of it. And I can step back up because I've, been and I've seen it and also because I, I'm very lucky I have the privilege of speaking to people like you and um, other people of, of a similar background or not of a similar background but of similar experiences okay and I just I just uh, I just I'm just more conscious of it as you are you know you, I, I, I'm guessing it's the same for you 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 know when you drop down a couple of rungs and and I think I, I now really think okay I need to get on top of this now Otherwise, I'm going to face two or three weeks or months of bad habits or drinking or lack of exercise. And then guess what will happen then? My mental state will plummet. Because the way I see it is, and again, from personal experience over the last few years, is the first couple of rungs to drop down, they take time to drop down. But the lower down ladder you get, the faster the descent is. And you are rapidly sliding down it until you just, it's just free fall, man. And the the faster you're falling, the harder it is to get a grip on a rung and, and slow it down, let alone start climbing back up. And then when you get all the way to the bottom, there's no, you don't even see the ladder anymore. There is no ladder. There's only one way out. And you, that's it. you stay in the darkness the whole time. And the only way to be shown the opposite of it is for the, your environment to change, your situation to change, or you to be exposed to information you're otherwise unaware of. And the only way, the only way you get that especially for the military background, is you get it from people you resonate with. Because in that state of mind, you ain't going to sit there and, and listen, read a book about fucking mindfulness. You ain't going to sit there and, and see a post on Instagram about, oh, it's okay for men to talk. Well, you're not going to do that. It's going to be your buddies <clears throat> who have an understanding of it, who are going to communicate that information to you. And it, and, and it takes, and for me, it took multiple, multiple times with that repeated message to me from people, repeated repeated you know encouragement from the people i love and trust a long time and then it clicked once and then all of a sudden i didn't see the way out but i've been told it was and so i started to climb back up and uh this is the problem with it um one is the stigma and two is the lack of understanding and lack of knowledge around your your knowledge of yourself and emotional state but also why it's happening why it's happening which is a key one here andrew and it's a key one that when I first broached on this subject of uh, your neurophysiology and um, neuroendocrinology and psychology mm -hmm. versus uh, physiology versus psychiatry. Well, not versus, this is the wrong word, but how are they going hand in hand? When I first mentioned it, Mr. Mandy Bostwick. It was like a light bulb coming on, mm -hmm. a, flick being sw a switch being flicked to me. And just in terms of understanding, not, oh, here is the miracle cure, but I understand this a lot better now, a lot better. And it's the same for other people who have um, listened to or watched people like yourself, people like Mark Gordon, people like Mandy Bostick over here. You know, it's, a, it's, an, it's an understanding. You get in knowledge, you understand the situation better. When you understand the situation better, in an area that seems very, very 
very, very, um, what's the word? Uh, un uh, difficult to understand, uh, uh, a spaghetti junction of, uh, and a web of uh, uh, causes and effect, which is the mind. It's the more information you get, to understand it better, then the, the, the more likely people are to be able to stop themselves sliding down the ladder, you know?